Community Voices proudly brought to you by Namdeb Diamond Corporation. Good today, better tomorrow. I think the people who are having sex with young kids, I think they must be punished somehow. Because for kids, they actually don't know what they are doing, but the person who is, who is older you know, who is old and having sex with kids, he knows what he's doing. And he only wants to destroy the, the, the child's career. Exactly. They must be punished. Yeah, because as for kids, obviously they can be, as they are not going to school, they can be, yeah, they can be brainwashed by, for instance, maybe being given money. They must be punished because it's not right. For instance, if it was your child, you expected your child to be at varsity and do other stuff which will, let me say, which will help the, the family to, to come out from poverty and now the child is being pregnant by someone who doesn't even want to marry your child. It will be painful. Like, okay, like, you see, people are like struggling in this pandemic and they don't like have money and all those things. So, for me, I'd want the people to legalize the abortions so that the other kids can make the abortions because make their I, own choices yes because yeah if you bring another kid and babies are like how can i say it's hard to maintain so like if you just do the abortion you will just like decrease the stress in the family and they won't be struggling that much because if you get a baby babies are expensive you can give the child up for adoption but then again yeah. there are not many people willing to adopt children babies are expensive diapers milk and all those things so i abortion the Comas region continues to lead in terms of having the highest daily number of COVID-19 cases. As in other regions, schools have been closed to curb the spread. The governor of Comas suspects that these measures has raised yet another problem, as the region has recorded a high number of school-going children falling pregnant. It should also be mentioned that the region was faced with some challenges, such as high number of pregnancy among school-going girls. To illustrate, during the first and the second trimester of 2020, 139 school-going girls fell pregnant, while during the third trimester of 2020, 232 school girls fell pregnant. Out of these two numbers combined, 24 were primary school girls, two 321 were from secondary school, while 26 were from resource schools. Other challenges are such as the impact of close hostels on performance and school retention, absenteeism, and dropout of secondary learners due to hunger, and low capacity in some schools to cope with and mitigate health related challenges. McLeod Kachira further said the Commerce region has seen an increase in enrollment of 2.3% in 2020, pointing out that if the trend continues, the region could have a learner population of 100,000 by 2022. Learners enrollment has also increased from 94,999 in 2020 to 97,176 in 2021. If learners' enrollment continue following the same trend as it has been observed over the past years, it is, it is projected that the, the learners' enrollment for 2022 will be around 99,411 learners. This also mean, means an additional 63 classrooms to be added. The region received 41 million under the COVID-19 Infrastructure Development Fund, which it planned to construct 22 ablation blocks at 22 schools and renovate two hostels block at Ella Duplessis High School. In addition, the regions intend to construct an additional 18 pre-primary classrooms to the tune of 6.7 million with assistance from the United yeah, the, European Union. The governor said providing quality and inclusive education is among the top priorities of her office. But the cases of learners dropping out of school as a result of teenage pregnancies should be regarded as a matter of national concern. Community Voices proudly brought to you by Namdeb Diamond Corporation. Good today, better tomorrow.